Doing a little video here now. It's October 20th in Southwest BC. It's probably 20 Celsius. And we're tearing the inside of our van apart, making a little video. How to improve the interior of your van. So we decided to remove the old carpet, vinyl, everything, start from fresh. Check out the subfloor, clean it up, grind it, vacuum, do a serious improvement. As an experiment here now on our van project, redoing the floors, I'm using a tile product, Map Elastic by Mapai. Flexible waterproof membrane to coat the original steel floor with. So here we have the original van floor and these are the ribs in the steel to give it strength. Uh, they had plywood running in a lateral direction, which meant that it had waves in it. Once we have our sound deadening membrane on here, or materials, I'll be putting some foam of some kind, or a and stick. What I've done is actually used a under pad, a laminate type material, for click flooring with a foil backing on it with foam. After I did the entire sealer on the floor, I covered the whole floor with this foam backing material. Once the floor was sealed with the tile backer material, I've now pre-cut pieces of ULA plywood, which is plywood with no voids used in tile setting. This can then be attached with screws or glue and then we can apply our finished flooring to that. Carrying on now with our van interior improvements. I'm doing what's called sound deadening up forward. I'm adding this material into the van. It's the peel and stick material for sound deadening. It'll both keep the heat in and I'm hoping to keep engine heat out. I am using the peel and stick material, but I do notice that it doesn't adhere perfectly well, so I'm using something called Baycor Peel and Stick Primer, spray it on, wait three minutes. Replacing all the carpet with new vinyl flooring. So for example, this flooring that I bought here is just from Home Depot. Why use high-end automotive products when you can fit the interior of your van with typical home products. So this material I have here is just like a peel and stick vinyl flooring. This is actually just an offcut remnant of uh, one of the planks. They're about 36 inches long, 6 inches wide. Just cut it, score it with a knife and break it. I've pre-cut this vinyl flooring to fit around the entryway of the van. That's where I'm starting and I've used a one-part water-based flooring adhesive. Just trowel on, give it a few minutes to dry, and we'll attach the first piece.
The new van interior process continues. New vinyl flooring, new carpet at the front seat area. Wool underlay we decided to use under the carpet. We'll try that. Includes our van retrofit video. We're putting it all back together here, giving it the final wipe down. I highly recommend anybody improving the interior of their vehicle by removing the carpet. Mm -hmm. 